Hello everyone, welcome to our channel and the company for our discussion today is a company known as PI Industries Limited. What is very interesting about this company is this has created huge wealth for investors over a period of last four to five years. Why we are talking about this company today? It was down about seven to eight percent today. And why was it down? I'm going to answer all these questions in this video. Firstly, let me talk a little bit about the company itself. So PI Industries is into the agrochemical space. Of course, it is a part of the exploding chemical industry in India. People, investors are very excited about chemical companies in the country. What is the reason that investors are excited about chemical companies? And if you see most of the chemical companies, they have created huge wealth for investors in the last four to five years, especially in the last two years after COVID. The first reason is anti-China sentiment. Of course, after COVID, many customers across the globe have been looking for alternate source of supply for chemicals and India presents one good opportunity. Secondly, since all this manufacturing is coming to India, Indian companies are expanding and what they are witnessing is economies of scale. All right. So economies of scale simply in Hindi means aap jitna zada mal banaoge, utna zada aapka profit margin hoga. Right. I will not get into the depth of what are economies of scale, correct? Now, what is very interesting in the case of PI industries? In the chemical space or in the chemical industry, there are mainly three kinds of activities which are conducted by companies. Number one is researching the molecule or researching the chemical or the drug, whatever you want to call it, all right? Number two, once the research step is over, what you end up doing is manufacturing that particular molecule and after manufacturing, what you do is you distribute that molecule, right? So distributors buy the molecule or the chemical from the company, the manufacturing company, and then they sell it to the end customers. Okay. So we have a company here, PI Industries, which is present in all the three steps of the value chain. They do R&D, they do manufacturing, and they do distribution. Because of this, what happens is the company has been expanding margin, has seen expansion of their operating margins. As you can see from the screen, in the last about seven to eight years, the company has consistently seen increase in their operating profit margins, right? Now, if there is everything good going on with the company, why did it fall about seven to eight percent today? Let us talk about that. So in the month of July 2021, the company had entered into a business transfer agreement with a company known as IND Swift Laboratories Limited or ISLL, right? The company ISLL is into the pharmaceutical space, all right? Now PI Industries is into the chemical, chemical space or the chemical industry. They found a suitable company into the pharmaceutical space and they thought of acquiring it. Very good thought because they are diversifying their business. However, as per the business transfer agreement that the two companies had signed, ISLL was supposed to meet some criteria before the acquisition or before the purchase of the company. It is called a slum sale, right? However, on 31st of October, the period for meeting these conditions got over, okay? Because of which PI Industries has now cancelled that transaction. What happens is, PI has already raised money for this acquisition and since they are not able to acquire it now, investors are asking the company, what are you going to do with that money? Okay. And as you can see from the screen, the company says that we are going to look for another possible buyer or sorry, another possible seller within the pharmaceutical industry, right? However, finding that seller is going to take time and Till that time, investors have a question mark. What are you going to do with that money? Correct? Ab humare paise ke saath kya karoge? Because if the company has a cash balance on their balance sheet, the return on equity comes down. Okay? And investors do not like return on equity coming down. That is why what we witness today is a fall in the share price of PI industry. Now, the bigger question is, should you buy the company or should you buy the stock right now? Well, if you have a longer term horizon, there is nothing wrong with the company. Okay, 
they just have not been able to close one transaction according to me it is a short you know it's a very short glitch that they are facing right now okay and in the longer term in the next four to five years they'll again be on a path of you know expansion all right and again the market will start rebounding it so yes if you're a longer term investor you should consider buying the stocks of pi industries however if you are a swing trader do keep in mind that this finding a new seller might take some time it might take six months it might take one year and the market might keep punishing it it might keep going down or it might just not move it might consolidate right having said that let me give you the disclaimer we are a sebi registered investment advisory at the moment we do not have any position or any conflict of interest in pi industries so this video is purely for the purpose of education we do not advise or recommend anything through this video do take your decision after doing the due diligence and consulting your financial advisor thank you if you like the video do press the like button subscribe to the channel thank you very much